Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, today on the week we interview a very special guest. He is a man who rose and inspired a country. He made the government ban their own flag and vendors have been unhappy ever since. After being threatened by the government, he fled to the US and now he has returned and risen from the dead. Is he Jesus or is he Judas? Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, today on the week, we interview the founder of Hashtag This Flag, Comrade Pastor Evan Mawarire. Pastor Evan Mawarire, welcome to Zimbabwe. Thank you very much. It's good to be back home. Welcome back home. Yeah. Now we are going to ask you, uh, as they do in the movies in America, uh, to swear uh, on this Bible here. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth? and nothing but the truth. So help you God. So help me God. Okay, this is a serious interview. <laughs> so the first question that I think is on everyone's minds mm -hmm. is, while you were in the USA, did you meet Kim Kardashian? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I, I didn't. How does it feel returning home and being arrested? I mean, being arrested upon returning to Zimbabwe, does it make you feel that you're actually not appreciated as a citizen by your own government? I think there's a, there's a feeling of uh, being victimized. Uh, you know, when you come back home, nobody wants to come back home. And before you even get your passport stamped, you are surrounded by unknown people and taken away to a room uh, and, and, you know, and then arrested. So there is that sense of feeling like you are not welcome, you know, at home. And it's unfortunate. But I came back because, you know, Zimbabwe is home for me. This is, I didn't come here. I was born here, you know, and, and so my resolve to come back home has always been strong. And now that, you know, even I'm, I'm out of prison on bail, I feel even much, much better and more resolved about being back home in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> ah, you're under arrest. We are arresting you for sneezing on a democratically elected laptop. Hey, you're under arrest. We're arresting you for undermining the president for taking a selfie video in the direction of State House. Now, what? now you are arrested for walking perpendicular down a horizontal, constitutionally mandated corridor. Now, here, another charge that you're charged with is insulting the flag. I mean, how do you, how do you insult the flag? Huh? I mean, we hear rumors that you are, a, you are a domestic abuser of the flag, you beat it every night. But that's not my question. How do you insult the flag? Do you sit there going, you are stupid man, stupid. Put that, put that, put that, put that. Yo, it's All right, don't do it again. Right, you've got a better flag, it's much more well behaved than mine. So I'm reading some mean comments sent to me on social media by uh, fellow Zimbabweans. So this one is from Melissa Chidomutopa and she says, Pastor Evan is so like Robert Mugabe during the Liberation War. Go hang. Okay, Melissa, I will find a tree to hang. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Masiek Maliki says, chicken. Uh, I say, turkey. Okay. Then Tinashe Munyaradze Sibanda says, Stop wasting our time. We don't need glasses to see that you are pro Zanu. Stop mistaking our deliberate short sightedness for blindness. You ran away fearing for your life. Now, what is your reason for coming back? Stop! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. We are done following up your charade. Travel safely, Tinashe Munyaradze Sibanda, wherever you are going. Then from Tremaine Gray is another mean tweet. She says, why are people still supporting this waste man? Can he just disappear, please? Disappear. <laughs> Pastor Evan, you know, a serious question now is, you know, there are a lot of Zimbabweans who feel betrayed by you leaving. Do you, do you not think that you could have communicated better with people while you were in the US? Um, first of all, I think that um, they have every right to feel disappointed or, you know, or betrayed uh, because you know, people really invested themselves in some of the things that took place uh, you know, at that time. 
I think also it is important for people to understand the position that uh, that I was in. I did communicate quite a lot, um, you know, on my way out when I was in South Africa. Um, even, you know, in the U.S. as well, I had my, my moments of communication. Um, it was important for me to focus on my family at the time. My wife was pregnant, we were expecting, and I just needed to be there with my family during that very critical, uh, critical moment. Mm. But uh, I do understand the concern, and maybe we could, I could have done a, a better job of communicating. What I'm thankful for is how the movement has grown and evolved and matured and brought in a lot more voices and expressions than we had before. Pastor Evan, you used to be a sex pastor. So what is your one-line counseling for the following famous couples? Stana and Olinda. That your, your lives are not for everyone to share. If you truly want to solve a problem, you get together in private and, and deal with it. Andy and Beth. I haven't really followed that story, but don't do things that will give you problems in the future. Mm -hmm. Bob and Grace. <laughs> um, yeah. Have you heard of this guy who got really, really popular since you left? Mm. His name, Stevan Mapariri. Right. Yes. So, so I heard about, I heard about this, I heard, are you for real? That's him. Is this the guy? Yes. I, <laughs> He's a <laughs> body double. Yeah. Check it out, he's even got the hands so, and the glasses. <laughs> yes. So, so next time you need to go into hiding, let us know we've got a body double here. And he can, then he can get arrested, then you he can rest up in bed. I have one question, I was going to ask him, is he ready to go to Shikurubi as well? <laughs> What about the rumor that you have come back to launch hashtag this flag as a political party for 2018 <laughs> comrade? Hey? Tell us. No, 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 no. That's not that's not true. Mm. See, this flag is a citizens' movement and has to remain a citizens movement because it's being effective as a citizens movement. Mm. It's rallying Zimbabweans from all walks of life, different beliefs different races, different political ideologies to rally behind the idea of Zimbabwe and not the idea of a political party. So turning it into a political party is a big mistake. This is a place where all Zimbabweans can feel that they are, they are, they are, their thoughts or their views about Zimbabwe are represented without being partisan. That's the power of it. So comrade, why should the government not lock you up? Yeah, because we know you've got these tendencies of doing Facebook videos where you are just crying, crying about a flag. Yeah? Why shouldn't they lock you up? Well, look, I, you know, I don't think that whenever someone says something they're unhappy about it, the government, the first thing you do is lock them up. Mm. And the first thing you do, if your child was crying, you don't just walk into the room and just tell them to stop crying and start beating them. It's, uh, no, it's, it's our sovereignty, <laughs> comment. We can lock you up if you, you talk you too know, much. God, you find out, why are you crying? What's the problem? Mm. You know? But, you know, I mean, you can't just keep locking people up just because they, they've said they're not happy with this or they're not happy with that. It makes you look bad. But if you put them in Chikurubi, they stop crying. I or you can't see them crying. I, may I think that if you put them in Chikurubi, all right, no, I'll keep quiet. Now, one of the reasons you were arrested when you came back uh, to Zimbabwe was for organizing demonstrations in New York. I mean, did you try and contact the ZRP <laughs> while you were there in New York? You know, because here at the week, we believe you could have sent them a postcard and we've designed one for you for next time you're let's, organizing a demo in New York. Let's, let's see it. <laughs> just, you just send that to them, you put a stamp on there, you send it, and I, then they I, take I, it to their place. I doubt they actually they accept these kinds of requests. Ah, it, it works. It's it just, does, it yeah, works. It's eh? just like bond notes. It's, uh, it's accepted in Zimbabwe, not outside. Pastor Evan Mawariri, do you intend to run for president in 2018? <laughs> I think first, firstly, people have got to understand that um, it is the right of any Zimbabwean who qualifies to run for president. And, um, you know, that, that is not my intention, you know, at this point, mm. to run for president uh, this of point. Zimbabwe. Yeah, this I, point. I mean, look, I, and I want to be clear mm. about this, Fatso. Um, I don't want to close that door. Sure. You know what I mean? I think people want these... Um, you know, clear-cut answers, yes or no. Mm. But I can't give you yes or no, because that door, I want it open, you know, in my life, if, if I qualify, 
and if the opportunity becomes uh, you know very much presentable i want to be able to go for it mm -hmm. and exhaust that avenue because it is an avenue for me as a zimbabwean to represent my country and serve my country in that in that fashion true or false mm -hmm. are you a cio agent false do you run a flag manufacturing factory false did you take the baton stick to america with you false is your name pastor evan mawarire true ah that's a lie you all are object objection objection that's a flat out lie you're in contempt of court <laughs> This court. Uh, okay, false then. <laughs> Hashtag this flag and a lot of the new protest movements have a lot of success online communicating to a young urban demographic, you know? But don't you think this is potentially an echo chamber in the urban areas? Are you really penetrating the rural areas where the majority of the population and the majority of voters in 2018 are? It's, it's, it, it is truly a challenge in this country to reach out to the rural areas. And you are right, there's a danger that we may find ourselves in an echo chamber where we think we're being effective, but we're just talking to each other in the urban areas. The rural areas also have movements that are, have geared themselves to reach out to the rural areas. And I'm excited about those movements and I'm excited about the different uh, connections that we are making and the different uh, you know, convergence zones that we are finding. So, for example, um, Victor Chimutu set up uh, Zimbabwe Yadzoka. Mm -hmm. And Zimbabwe Yadzoka, their one goal is to make sure that in the rural areas they are contentizing and mobilizing citizens to be ready to vote when the time comes. They're talking about rights. They're talking about the law, the constitution, uh, you know, and the upcoming elections. I have some comrades on Twitter who suggested a new theme song for you. We're going to play it for you. Oh, a new theme song for yes, me? Yes, yes. Okay. They suggested it on Twitter. Right, let's hear it. Is it too late now to say <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on the week. We'd like to thank Comrade Pastor Evan Mawarire for joining us and being back in Zim. Thank you so much for having me yet again uh, on this great show. It's, it really is a, a huge pleasure. Great, and it's great to actually be able to do it in Zim and not have to come to America to interview you. It <laughs> saves on fuel costs. So, yeah, thank you for joining us. Uh, I have been Comrade Fatso. This has been the week. You have been the people. Thank you and... And God bless you. <laughs> and you wanted to say, you wanted to say, bleep bleep. Don't say that. <laughs>